Okay, I'm going to finish off this neck. Now, one of the things that, you know, we came up with the three F backwards on the throat all the way around. To finish up the neck, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and just clean up our jawline, pull that ear forward that we used to set our line, and come right up behind the ear before I get started. Make sure this line is nice and clean. Then I'm gonna take some sort of blending shear preferably the 26 tooth blender but if you don't have it the um, 45 will work too it just takes longer to get there and what I'm doing is I'm just blending this in because we left the neck a little bit longer because he dips so low in his shoulder so I'm going to blend the back of the head first and then lift this lead keep it tight and then just blend in over the shoulders okay now if you had to loosen it a little bit to get to the shoulders, make sure that you tighten that back up, okay? Because um, you don't want them slipping out and you know falling off the table. So once you get that neck done, you make sure you go back and re-secure and make sure it's good and tight. All right, so that's a little loose. So I'm gonna tighten her back up. Make sure it's attached, there we go and then just look over it. Can you see over, see how nice everything's blending in from above? If you see anything whatsoever, like that little tuft right there, I'm just gonna come from above, clean that up. Same thing from this side. Make sure that the head blends smoothly into the neck. See how nice that blends? And it really doesn't require a whole lot because I did skim over it with the universal combs lightly so that when we get done, Hopefully, when you look at him, you see, well, pretty level top line. In reality, it dips quite a bit right there. So we've left a little feel, and we can always come through with the blender, take a little bit more off his roach. So that's it. That's his neck.